Hey you! What's going on? Welcome to my channel. Are you looking for another interesting vlog today? If that is so, then this vlog is what you've been looking for and I'm gonna show it to you, right now. Moto Vlog with Jason Rama Hi my name is Jason, I am a teacher, a vlogger, and a Spurbot performance writer. First things first, let's give a super big shout out to you, thank you very much for relentlessly supporting my channel. I seriously couldn't thank you more. You're the best. Having said that, let's jump into the vlog. First things first, the 2023 Aston Martin V12 Vantage revealed with a super mighty 690 HP under the hood. It boasts a twin turbo 5.2 liter V12 from the DBS Superlegro makes its way into the baby Aston, and only 333 will be made so it's gonna be hard to find collectible in the distant future. So the Aston Martin V12 Vantage's twin turbo V12 engine makes a tremendous 690 horsepower and super strong 555 pounds feet of torque. The thing is, it will be limited to just 333 cars globally and comes only as a coupe. The V12 model features a revised suspension, a wider track, and a very dramatic looking aerodynamic kit. We have long loved the combination of super large engines and small cars, and few encapsulate the relative imbalance better than the freshly unveiled unbeatable 2023 Aston Martin V12 Vantage just for you. Aston has stuck this mighty twin turbo 5.2 liter V12 from the DBS Superlegra into the baby Vantage. The combination will be produced in a limited run of 333 cars, and Aston says that the order book has already closed due to unprecedented demand wow. Moreover, while the previous generation Vantage spawned multiple V12-powered variants, all of which use the older 6.0-liter naturally aspirated engine, there will only be a single version of the new V12 Vantage this time around. It's only available as a coupe and there won't be a roadster version. The engine is closely related to the one in the DB11 and DBS, sharing the latter's headline power figure of 690 horsepower produced at 6,500 rpm. Although impressive, the 555 pounds feet of torque is 108 pounds feet lower than in the Supra The regular V8 powered Vantage is no slouch, but Aston Martin claims that the V12 Vantage will have a power to weight ratio more than 20% better. Going deep, the gearbox is an 8 torque converter, automatic and manual would have been too much to hope for, but with a unique calibration for quicker shifts. But unlike the regular Vantage, which uses an electronically controlled rear differential, the V12 features a conventional mechanical limited slip differential, a feature previously only offered on the manual Vantage. Other changes include expensive chassis revisions, many of these related to the ones made to allow the Vantage-based V12 Speedster to accommodate the V12 last year. Aston CEO Tobias Mowers recently disclosed that the revisions to the V12 Vantage are significant enough for it to be considered to be a super new model, with these including spring rates increased by 40% of the front and 50% of the rear, new top mounts, revised sway bars, and a new secondary spring for the rear axle to improve ride comfort to the next level. Aston says that the V12 Vantage is 1.6 inch wider than the standard car and features many many carbon fiber panels. A rear strut brace and additional reinforcements have improved structural stiffness over the V8 model, too. The steering system is revised and carbon ceramic brakes are standard, along with 21-inch wheels. There will be an option for a liquid version of these wheels, and all V12 Vantages will wear Michelin Pilot 4's tires. Much of the revised exterior design has been dictated by the need to manage the V12 Vantage's phenomenal high-speed airflow. The bonnet's vast horseshoe vent seems to occupy more than half of the hood area and the radiator grille is also 25% larger than the radiator vantages. A new splitter element below the front bumper and a diffuser at the back is added for a super nice aerodynamic performance you'll never regret, but that iconic vast new one makes the greatest difference. Buyers will be able to forego this for a super nice stealthier look which I really really like, although doing so will diminish the 450 pounds of peak down for the wing wearing V12 Vantage is claimed to be capable of generating at peak speed. Buyers like you will be able to choose between leather sports seats or liquid buckets with exposed carbon shells in manual adjustment. Selecting these will save another 16 pounds of mass. Buyers will also be able to use Aston's Q customization service to select the spoke exterior and trim colors you've always wanted. The company is not expecting any two completed cars to be the same that's for sure. There is no official word on pricing yet, but we are told to expect around 300,000 US dollars and ascend before options in the US, with deliveries starting later this year. That would be more than twice as much as the standard Vantage, but this is also said to be a much rarer car. Like a super rare sports car in the making.
Aston has already said its V12 engine is approaching emissions and forced retirement. The Vantage will be one of its final applications. So make sure you grab yours now. A. Do you agree that this content is indeed educational? I would say yes this content is really telling because it's been absolutely comprehensive and expensive as well. I would also say that this is encore, like top tier because it gives me the priceless privilege to create with great care a very special content just for you, and that's really really more than awesome enough for me. What do you think? Kindly share your thoughts with us by a super nice commentary so that we can react together on this content, perhaps some constructive criticisms, kindly carve your thoughts on the comment section. I couldn't thank you more for your rich comments regarding the content, I couldn't wait to read them, and hey, if you're new here, kindly don't miss to super like this video, click on that amazing subscribe button to help us grow this channel, and you might want to share this vlog with your friends on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, thank you very very much for doing so. It's super super big help for me. Thank you very very much once more for supporting my growing channel. I deeply appreciate all your commendable support.